issues. But first, Deputy President Rikadi Gashagwa may have to make do with his Harambe House Annex office in its current state for another year. This is after Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njuguna Ndungo in his budget speech this afternoon announced measures intended to reduce government spending, which include a freeze on refurbishment of government offices. Olive Barrows breaks down the austerity measures that uh, were contained in the budget speech. Kenyans haven't taken too kindly to repeated admonishments by President William Ruto to tighten their belts and live within their means, while their leaders live large, occupying swanky offices and parading the latest in fuel guzzlers. In an effort to demonstrate that the Kenya Kwanza administration does not preach water and drink wine, National Treasury and Economic Planning Cabinet Secretary Njugunandungo on Thursday announced measures intended to curb government spending. We should ensure that our scarce resources are used in the most efficient and effective way. Mr. Speaker, in order to move towards a balanced budget and further improve efficiency in public spending, the following broad, bold actions and reforms have been outlined in the financial year 2024-2025. These include tackling of a bloated wage bill with suspension of all new recruitment for the next one year and an audit and cleansing of all public payrolls with a view to eliminating ghost workers and enforcing payment of salary scales. Other measures that would affect allowances earned are a reduction on spending on foreign travel and training expenses with all training restricted to government institutions with use of Wi-Fi and emails for efficient communication. Those in the public service, police and prisons will also have their insurance schemes reviewed and aligned to the Social Health Insurance Fund. The measures also include a suspension of all refurbishments of government offices and a suspension of the purchase of furniture for a period of one year. A move which may affect Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, who had sought to renovate his Harambe House Annex office and his official residence in Karen and Mombasa at a cost of 300 million shillings. <laughs> Having expressed frustration at provisions made for his air travel, the Deputy President may also fall victim to the government's plan to cut spending on motor vehicles. His office having requested a budgetary allocation of 100 million shillings for vehicles. Other measures include consolidation of public procurement for common user items, suspension of the policy of semi-autonomous government agencies investing surplus funds, and they will instead be expected to surrender excess funds to the exchequer. There will also be a review of regional development authorities with a view to removing duplication of roles with those of county governments and ministries, departments and agencies. Olive Burrows, Citizen TV.